Hey guys, uh, this is a 2013 Ford Escape, and uh, we haven't had it too long, and it's only got about 30,000 miles on it, but uh, this thing's had quite a few problems, and uh, we drive it easy, take care of it, do all the maintenance, it just seems like there's just weird odds and ends that uh, make noise or don't work right. And one thing for sure, and it's all over the internet, is the uh, windshield wipers. Um, if you get a, a hard rain, the darn things barely work. Uh, they kind of skip, and sometimes they don't work at all. So what I'm doing today is I've ordered brand new window wiper motors and going to replace them. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. I'm not done yet, but I just want to... Kind of show what's going on here. Uh, you open up your hood and you got this. That's like an upper cowl that goes on here. And the only it's only held on by little metal clips that slip on here. And then some tabs right there. You just take these clips off and that piece there pulls straight up. So I haven't taken this one out yet, but I'm going to show you how the teeth are all stripped out on... Um, it's like a conical gear, conical tooth gear. Well, the teeth are all stripped out. And that's probably the problem. I highly doubt you can change just that gear. Um, so I ordered brand new motors, which I'm going to put in here next. And uh, the only thing holding them in is you got a, a bolt here, bolt here, and then, I don't know if you can see it in the back there. Hey, right back in there. Oh, well, there's just a little tab, uh, kind of a line-up tab that kind of holds it in place. And then you got an electrical connector right there. And then that should be about it. But uh, I just want to talk about a couple of the other problems with this car. Uh, something stupid is the battery is right here under this cover. See it right there? In order to change the battery, you have to take this lower cowl off. Um, so... And to change the battery, you got to take off the windshield wiper arm, the upper cowl, and the lower cowl. You know, I don't understand why you got to do all that just to change a dang battery. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it's it's not hard. I mean, you got a screw here, a screw here, and the lower cowl comes off, and then you can finally change the battery. But I mean, to, to tell a couple guys at work, yeah, I got to change the battery in my Ford. I got to take the windshield wiper arms off an upper and lower, lower cowl, you know, and they're all like, well, that's pretty stupid. Well, yeah, it is. Um, another weird thing that I haven't fixed yet is when I uh, put the windshield wiper on in the back and want to use the windshield washer fluid to clean it, what happens is windshield wiper fluid shoots out right here in the A-pillar. It runs all down here. So there's obviously a tube that runs up through the air pillar and along here, and there's a connection here. But it must have been, I don't know, bad from the factory or something. But uh, I gotta fix that someday too. I mean, there's this little odds and ends of this car that doesn't make much sense and things don't work right. Um, it makes some weird noises Say you've been driving it for a while, you're sitting at a stoplight, you'll hear some kind of weird humming noise and and then it'll go away and you may not hear it again for a couple weeks. Uh, but it's just it's kind of frustrating. You buy a new car, and, I mean 30,000 miles and you got all these stupid problems that I've never had with another car. So it goes a little bit of a rant on a, the 2013 Ford Escape and uh if you look them up, there's plenty of information of weird oddities with this car, but it's just kind of stupid. I've never replaced windshield wiper motors in my life in a car, and i got to do it on this with only 30,000 miles. So, I guess uh, if you're thinking about buying one, uh, maybe this video will help you decide whether you, you, know, you should buy it or maybe look at something else. So, uh, I'm going to get back to replacing those wiper motors. Um... Just in case um, you're watching this because you have the same problem, I think the wiper motors were uh, $210.
uh, off eBay and I bought it's a little bit better quality ones. I didn't buy the cheap Chinese ones. So hopefully this will be done before too long and uh, hopefully this video helps you out in any decision making you're going to do on one of these. Thanks for watching.